Welcome back to the Minnesota State Mavericks Dynasty, and today the 1-3 Minnesota State Mavericks are on the road for the first time in a while, taking on the Miami of Ohio Red Hawks in the MAC showdown. If you guys are excited, drop a like. If you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below. Man, we are just kicking butt in this series from top to bottom. I mean, well, you guys have been kicking butt. I haven't been kicking butt. I've been uploading this every day, uh, but... With that being said, of course, um, you know, we haven't been winning games. We're 1-3. and three. We're on a one-game winning streak, at least. That's something. So, let's get into the recruiting part of this. Uh, Miami of Ohio, we beat them last year in uh, the conference uh, game we had last year with them. So, how will it fare this time around? I don't know. I kind of know how they run now. So, let's try and take what we had last year and see what we could do with that. Um, we got a bunch of leads here going in. We got a recruit of uh, Justin Williams, defensive tackle. He's a Juco, but a six, and he's a 69 overall. So we got a potential there to have some uh, quality defensive play, at least, for a couple of seasons. Uh, Joel Davis, we're starting to put more focus on him. Brandon McDaniel, it looks like we're going to be able to get him. That's good. We need some offensive linemen to protect our quarterback. Steven Webb, we look like we got a... Pretty good beat on him as well. We could turn him into something. I, I, I could see it. Considering his stat line, or his scouting report. He's got a 76 speed, 77 th uh, power, 70 accuracy. So he has the potential. I don't think he's, you know, he, well, he has the potential to be a great quarterback. Um, kind of like how Brett, Brett Brown does right now. This The quarterback that we have right here has the potential to be good. Uh, we have a couple of other ones. We got a tight end and a middle linebacker. Uh, we got another defensive tackle. I think, is he a Juco? No, he's not. So that'll, that'll be nice to see. Um, getting leads here and here and here as well. Focusing a couple of defensive backs and middle linebackers as well. A lot of these guys can be redshirted. I mean, not like they think these guys are going to go pro, so it's probably best to redshirt them anyways, unless they're in a starting lineup here in the first season or two. You know what I mean? So it's just best to like red shirt. If they're if they're not starting year one, then they need to be redshirted. Uh, it's kind of a good reason. It kind of I kind of feel good about not redshirting Brown now because we had so many quarterback injuries to begin the season, and it came back to uh, bite us where we had to put at one point a running back in as our quarterback, kind of go wildcat offense if you will. So let's take a look here at the top twenty-five, as we can see. 1 through 10 is Washington, Georgia, Michigan, Ohio State, Oklahoma, Stanford, Auburn, Florida, Texas A&M, and Wisconsin. 11 through 20 is Virginia Tech, Mississippi State, Missouri, Alabama, uh, Michigan State, LSU, USF, Duke, Duke. Wow. <laughs> that one caught me off guard. West Virginia and Clemson. 21 through 25 is NC State, USC, Purdue, Iowa, and UCF. Other receiving votes go to Notre Dame, Iowa State, South Carolina, Oregon, and Colorado. Uh, Iowa back in the top 25. That's something I didn't really expect. Well, I kind of expected that. If they're 4-0, they're, they're usually in the top 25. Um, usually. But they do have a tough opponent today in Michigan State. But it is at home, so Iowa does have a pretty good chance of winning that game there. Um, any other top 25 matchups? We have USF at Wisconsin. That's going to be tough for USF. Uh, we have we talked about that one. Missouri plays Mississippi State. So that'll be interesting. A 12 versus 13 matchup. Uh, let's take another look here. Any other ones? No. No other in top 25 matchups today. That is it. And so with that, our conference standings look like this. We should be, a, well, not top of the conference, but we are all we are 1-0. In the conference, uh, we didn't win very, by very much last week, but a win's a win. Uh, Western, Northern, and Eastern are all one and zero. Ball State, Toledo, and Central are all winless in the conference. UMass, Miami of Ohio, and Ohio are one and zero in the conference. Uh, Akron, Kent State, Bowling Green, and Buffalo. Buffalo's been really struggling. They had a really good year last year, but they kind of dropped off this year. Um, they're one and three this year, kind of like us. So the Mac East is kind of up for grabs, and the Mac West is also kind of up for grabs. 
Uh, if we could beat Western, Northern, and Eastern, we have the green light. And today we play Miami of Ohio, who's in the Western side. So, I mean, yes, it, it does it does make a big, a big case for us to win this game, obviously, because we need to. Uh, to try and keep try and make it to the MAC championship and uh, I'm still trying to figure out you know if I do end up winning multiple conference championships and making you know appearances in top 25s and stuff like that um, I might move up to a like another like there's gonna be a level a tier system of how I'm gonna work this out uh, so we may, we're not gonna move to the Big Ten right away I would like to at least try the Mountain West if that's at all possible because they are higher prestige than the map than the Mac uh, they have teams like Boise State, uh, San Diego State, um, Utah State. You know, they're all pretty good football teams. Uh, so I would like to take uh, like one step above that. And then eventually if I start winning the Mountain West like crazy, then I move to the Big Ten. So let, let's let's take it one step at a time here. That's kind of like what my, what my thought process is behind it. Uh, so uh, be aware of that. So anyway... Let's get on with this game against Miami of Ohio. It should be a good one. I will see you guys on the field. And we are underway from Fred C. Yeager Stadium in Miami of Ohio as we're going to receive the kickoff. Right, we're cut to the outside, get to the 20, and 22-yard line. Not a bad return. Ooh, U.S. Open up the plays, man. Open up that playbook. Just block the guy in front of you for just long enough to cross the line. First down, gain of five. God, like I have nothing to throw right now. And he just so somehow magically cuts me off, cuts off the route. I don't know how, but he did. Okay, whatever. Dude, you got beat by someone who's probably slower than dirt. I don't know how. Of course, we give up first down after first down after first down. Okay. Come on, guys. This is my beat deep on this. Come on. From here, it's a 48 yard field goal. Seriously, Jose! Seriously, that's a fly route. All you have to do is not get it. Don't let him get the uh, jump ball. There's nothing. Oh my God. We're looking like a literally, we're literally looking like a bag of garbage. There we go. Finally. Okay, come on. Come on, guys. That's pick six. Protection that I need. Holy smokes, this is garbage. Oh, 15 yards, first down. We're running no huddle. Screw this. We need to get going. Like, over here, and he's like all the way on the other side. Give me eight yards. I don't care. Just give me something. I don't know about Utley blocking, man. He can't block. Neither can any of my offensive linemen. This is absolutely atrocious. This is fucking guard line in enemy territory. We're going for it. I gotta tell you, I'm really surprised that they aren't gonna just punt this ball away. Nice catch. We're going for it. Like you do diddly squat with it. Give me that first. I don't I don't care. Give me the first. I heard my players, man. I'm about to turn injuries off. This is getting ridiculous. Touchdown! Let's go! Oh, that was a tight window, but we got to make it happen. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. Whew. He's our quarterback, man. We got to have faith in him. Pulls it in and he 
Anybody want to cover that tight end? No one? Okay. He gets hit out of bounds. Round the four. He didn't catch that. No. Jose, you, that, don't even don't even congratulate yourself. That was poor coverage. All right, two minute offense. Let's make it happen. The thing that's unique is the offense seems to be spending so much time with him that it's freeing up the other defenders to be able to come in and also help him. Oh, perfectly placed ball! What a catch by Jackson! Right away. Good job. Oh, oh, come on, Jim. Go to you again. You're wide open. What happens? You get covered. You catch the ball, but you're wide open. Touchdown. Tie game. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Just like that. A minute and 28 seconds to go in half, so anything's possible. He wants it all. Oh, come on, Gonzalez. What are you... You can't cover a... Yeah, you're, you're infuriating. Because if you would have done the defense to do it on, because we can't freaking cover anybody. Oh, it's intercepted! <laughs> that was clutch. Towns a nice grab. A bench for a few plays. He's like, man, I need to learn how to catch the ball. <laughs> so he did, and now he's catching pa he's catching passes. He's catching passes. Oh, he's making cuts too. Oh, look at this guy. Oh my God. Second and one from the two. Oh, they're stacking the line, baby. All right, here we go. Our bigs against yours. Touchdown. Let's go. Scooter for six. Gives us the lead, baby. Same mentality going into the second half. We got a we got a touchdown lead. Let's what, let's build on it. Let's build on it here. Jose, you can't cover. You can't cover squat, dude. As long as we don't like, you know, make this a trend. Come on, defense. We gotta make some stops. Down on defense so far. I think that's a pretty, that's a pretty good feat to have. Oh, come on, Branch, jump up for the ball. You cannot be beat like this. Zone. And I'm glad they did because it really kind of saved us from going down at the half instead of being up. Oh, come on. This guy, Nick Hendricks, is just killing us. We need to cover this guy. Simple as putting a body on him for just a simple play. Or for a second. Can't even do that for a second. All right, the run game's going. I like it. Let's keep going. And they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And that backfired. I could I should have I should have changed out of it. Not so uh not so good field position for him now. It speaks to his great route running and his after the catch ability. Yo, can we tackle? He's taken down. Can we shed some blocks? Get some uh get some uh, momentum here. Burned on third. We need to make a stop here. Let's go. Okay. Thought he was gonna escape for a second, but we'll take that. That's fine. He's a legitimate only guy I know I, that is, actually fully utilizes his fullback. I don't know of anybody else who does, and that's not saying. And that's, I'm not trying to criticize any, how people play. I think the fullback is useful. It really is. I think they're useful. Oh, first down for Kevin Fox. That's his best run today. And he's level at midfield. <sighs> up now as we head to the I don't care if you stack the line. I'm coming right at you. 
mindset for this one. And it failed. Oh my god, they failed again. Come on, block already. This is a risk. I understand. Cut it to the outside, please. And he overthrows him. Come on. He was open. It's literally impossible. And it, yeah, just let him waltz into the end zone for a free touchdown while we're at it. Good freaking God, guys. It's like world beaters out here. Yeah, just let him be wide open, too. Don't even bother covering. I can't get a single, dra a simple drag route off to my receiver. Y'all suck. Ugh, 15 yards first down. That's a whole lot of time to play with. Come on, let's go! Stop this animation. Brown. Get him down. Oh my god. Intercepted. Let's go. Right back at you. Get out. Let's go. Hurry up. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. Twelve seconds. Twelve seconds. Clock stops. Thank God. Oh, thank you. Oh my God. Oh. Late in the fourth quarter, one possession game, and this is where poise really takes over. Whoever. Oh my God. The closing on that tackle is absolutely beyond me. Oh, follow your blockers. Oh, there you go. That's what's up, man. Let that blocker do his work. Come on. Underneath. Touchdown. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Just make a stop here and this game's over. Stop here and the game's over. Just one. Oh, I feel like we're going to be playing a few over. They are very close to tying this thing up. Ah! Here we go, second overtime. Win. It's first and ten. Ball on the twenty-five. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's looking for intercepted. It's intercepted. <laughs> Marcus Stanley, baby. For the win. Money. That's all I need to do. Just, just go home. Just kick the field goal. Go home. Who cares about the touchdown? I just want the win. That's all that matters. Hey, game over. <laughs> oh my god. 28 for 49. 368, four touchdowns, 14 carries, 10 yards. Just not a good performance on the ground, but he did a pretty good job in the air. And we, we won the game by the sliver, by the, by the skin of our teeth. So, hey, we got to take what we can get, man. We got to take what we can get.
If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys drop a like. If you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button for more thrillers like this one. And until next time, my name is Sim with Vengeance. You guys have been amazing as always. Uh, peace out.